Hi, I just want to show you how to do uh, apply filtering to um, for null values or blank values in uh, the columns on your Business Object XI reports. Now we used to be able to do that in 6.5. If you look at this report, it's got some null values in this uh, business uh, area flag column. In 6.5, you just used to be able to apply a filter, and under the filter, it would be an option for uh, null or um, hash empty. Uh, but you can see that we don't have that option in XI anymore. We just it just shows you the uh, the data that's available for filter, and it doesn't give you an option to filter on actually the null values. So we're gonna just cancel that, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, show you a workaround. So what, the first thing we need to do is we need to create a variable that tells us when this field is empty or not. So we're gonna go to variable editor. We're just gonna choose a name. We'll call it null flag and we'll go and pick the function so if you type i for is and scroll down for is null this formula is uh, get returns a 1 or a 0 depending if your column is null so we have to tell it which column to look at it's the business area flag we can check the form is ok that's it, your form is correct hit ok and that creates a new variable called null flag. Brilliant. Um, now what we can do is we can drop that into our report as a new column just so we can show you how it's working. So you can see we've got zeros where we've got data. If we scroll down we should see ones where we've got no data in our report. What we can do now is just apply a quick filter to that report. Let's pull out all the ones that will filter the null values for us just thinking about it and there we go it's filtered all the null values in our report okay that columns not what we need in our report if we're gonna send this to someone else so we can remove that column Remove the column will keep the filter and we can test that if we go over here where you've got data templates and map if you go to map and filters you can see on table one we've got a null flag equal to one filter um, I'm just going to remove that filter by right clicking and remove the filter I just want to show you a second object a uh, second um, option if we go into input controls rather than use a filter we can use an input control to do the same thing and so input controls and um, press new and we're going to go for this null flag yet again and we'll just give, we'll just pick a radio button and there's different options you can have a play around with uh, apply it to table 1 and you can see here all values 0 or a 1 if I pick the 1's my report changes shows me all the empty values I pick 0 it shows me all the non empty values and if I pick all values um, it gives me everything as we saw before so that's another option um, you can use input, imp input controls uh, just as well as you can use filters okay hope this has been of some use to you